Welcome to Witness Wednesday here on the Walk Boldly with Jesus podcast. I'm your host, Katherine Duggan. However, each Wednesday, I will have a guest give their witness of how God is working in their lives. Hearing how God is working in other people's lives shows us how deeply He cares for each one of us individually. Listening to these experiences will help your faith grow. I am so blessed to be able to share these with you. Let's get started. Today, I have four short witnesses for you from four fellow students in my Encounter Ministries class. In class, we are encouraged to share testimonies as it is such a great way to build up faith. We are encouraged to take what we learn in class and apply it to our lives. I am so excited to share these witnesses with you. The first one is Kesa. She was out rollerblading one day when something bad almost happened right in front of her. Listen to how she responded and then what happened in class. The testimonies are recorded during a class, so the audio might not be as great as it could be. Take it away, Kesa. Hello, my name is Kesa. Um, so about a week ago, I took a really bad fall um, trying to save a four-year-old boy from going off a cliff basically on his big wheels. I was on rollerblades. Um, he was kind of veering off that way, so I tried to grab him, um, ended up really throwing my back out. So um, I landed on my right shoulder, but somehow it's my left shoulder that's been, it's been hurting for whatever reason. So I had Jess, Cynthia, and Anne, and Tammy pray over. Felt lightning bolts going through me. Um, I was getting extremely warm. My, my shoulders were also really warm. Right now it feels like I've had a chiropractic adjustment um, without having to go to the chiropractor. Um, so my back is a lot looser than I felt it in years again. I would, I would have to go to the chiropractor to get this level of um, uh, stress relief in my back. So, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Kesa, for sharing your testimony with us and for helping that little boy. I'm sure his parents are so grateful you were there. How awesome is it that God fixed your back in class? The next witness is from another classmate named Sheila. We heard from her last week with the creative miracle where her friend was healed and is no longer in a wheelchair. Sheila travels all the way up from Rhode Island for these classes. It is a three-hour ride each way in the car, and she makes the trip every week, unless there is a snowstorm. The testimony is about a healing she relieved during class. She wasn't even going to ask, as this is something that she's dealt with her whole life. Wait until you hear what God did. Take it away, Sheila. I was born with congenital scoliosis from birth, and I have frequent problems with hip malalignment. But three years ago, I suffered severe fasciitis of my left side, which has caused everything to twist, turn, swell, and in pain. So two weeks ago, the pain started reoccurring pretty bad. Driving up today, I was uncomfortable because I had to sit. And when I sit, it's painful. And I didn't know how I was going to sit through this tonight. I wasn't even going to ask for prayer because I figured... I have congenital scoliosis from birth, so this is like normal for me. Mary, Erin, and Diane prayed with me. And during the second round of prayer, I felt physically my back release. When Erin prayed, I felt a complete release in my back. I, I almost wanted to, and then I also felt twitching, uh, muscular twitching in my whole left side. So. I wasn't able to get up from a sitting without crutching and holding on to something. By the third time, I have absolutely no pain in my back. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Wasn't that great? God is so good. He knew she was suffering, and he knew she needed relief. She wasn't even going to ask, and yet God presented the opportunity for her. He is so good. Next up is Louise. Louise was praying on a prayer team at a transformation night we had a few weeks ago. She went to the event planning to pray over other people. God was using her to help others. Listen to what he was doing to her as well. Take it away, Louise. I just want to share something that, you know, God is so good. Here we were, and it wasn't this particular lady. We prayed over, prayed with another lady afterwards. And some of her issues and things, and Mary was leading her in prayer. And 
what I found with both of these ladies, when they shared what physically was wrong with them, what was going on or whatever, it's like inside my head it's going, boy, God, that sounds like me. Boy, God, that sounds like me. And then they started to share some of their emotional trauma. And while my emotional trauma is not the same as theirs, it's like the Lord allowed me to see that, wow, maybe a lot of what's going on with me is due to some emotional trauma that hasn't been healed yet. And the second lady we were praying with, we were uh, praying with her in such a way that she was like um, renouncing, rebuking certain spirits of like gluttony and whatever. And I found I was led to pray that for me as we were praying it with her. And I will can honestly tell you, I woke up Saturday morning. I don't think there was a pain in my body. And I had a lot of pain in my body on Friday night, even as we were praying with people. My arms were killing me. My, I, I had no pain in my body on Saturday morning. And I woke up and I went, thank you, Jesus. It was like, wow, here I thought I was supposed to be praying for people and you were healing me while you were healing them. So I just want to share that. Thank you so much for sharing your testimony with us, Louise. I think it's so awesome that God healed you as he was using you to heal others. I love that you felt prompted to pray for yourself as you were praying over the other people for similar things going on. God is so good to us. He can heal anyone at any point. It reminds me of when I was watching The Chosen and Jesus healed Shula from blindness. And at the same time, he healed her best friend Barnabas even though he wasn't asking. God knows our hearts and is so good to give us the desires of our hearts. Last but not least is our classmate Jess. You have heard from her a while ago when she was praying over a friend for healing. Today's witness is about how she was brave enough to step out in faith and ask a stranger in Walmart that sounded like she needed prayers if she could pray over her. Listen to this encouraging story. Take it away, Jess. I was going to Walmart, and I ended up at the Walmart in Hudson because it was closer to where the transformation night was. And I'm like, nope, this is the wrong one. So I got back on and went to the one in Salem. And I got all my groceries because I was making soup the next day. And I get into the self-checkout because that was all that was open. And I was like, oh, I forgot my potatoes. (laughs) So... I'm like, ah, forget it. I'll get them later. And I'm like, nope, got to get the potatoes. It's the main ingredient in the soup. So got out of line, walked down, got my potatoes, did not want to wait back in the self-checkout line. So I went to another line that only had one lady in it and her cart was like full. And I'm just standing there kind of like chilling, like, yes, I get like 10 seconds to stop. And the lady's like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm like, don't worry about it. It's been a long week. It's it's good. So she's like, yeah, it's been a long week for me, too. I just got divorced, and I moved in with a friend from work, and she was going on and on. And I'm standing there. Ask her if she wants prayers. Okay. No, no, ask her if she wants prayers. So I was like, um, so I belong to this school of ministry. <laughs> And she's, I'm like, would you like some prayers? And she looks at me like she just saw a ghost. I'm like, oh, this is going to go well. And she goes, you know what? I could use some prayers. I was like, oh, phew, phew, okay. So she's like, I just finished. I'll meet you out in the little area where we make the keys. And I was like, okay, let me just finish, you know, cashing out and I'll meet you out there. So I cashed out and I met her out there and she goes, oh, I thought you left. I was so excited about the prayers. She's like, but I just thought you might have left. And I was like, no, no, I came. So um, I prayed over her and she was all excited. She's like, yes, Lord, thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. So I think God really had like an uplifting night for her and she was all excited when she left. So. (laughs) Thank you so much for sharing your story, Jess. I love that you had the courage to ask the woman. And I am sure she had a much better night due to your prayers. God is so good. These are just a few of the stories that we get to hear each week in our class. God is moving in a big way, not just in our class, but in the world right now. The Bible says, when sin abounds, grace abounds all the more. 
Well, sin is definitely abounding, and God's grace is too. You do not have to be in my class to see God working in your life. You do not have to be in my class to see someone in need and ask if they need prayers. You do not have to be in my class to pray for a healing for someone. God wants to work through each and every one of us in one way or another. Maybe spend some time with the Lord asking Him how He wants to use you. We have all seen God working in our lives. However, we might not all be aware it is God who is working in our lives. This is why it's so important we start talking about it more. The more we share our experiences, the more people understand how God works and how much He truly loves us. If you would be willing to share any of your experiences of how God has worked in your life, please email me at katherine at findingtruenorthcoaching.com. C-A-T-H-E-R-I-N-E at findingtruenorthcoaching.com. Or you can click on the link below. It won't take up much of your time, and your story could be just the story someone needs to hear today. Please prayerfully consider sharing your story. Everyone has one, and the world needs to hear them. I look forward to spending time with you again tomorrow. Remember, Jesus loves you, and so do I. I will have another witness for you next Wednesday. Have a blessed day!